Hi ladies, welcome to my first video blog. This message is inspired by the weekend I had speaking to teen girls about what it means to be a woman in the 21st century. This past weekend I was invited to participate in my high school's first ever women's symposium. And my God, do I wish I could have participated in something like this when I was in high school. First of all, I probably wouldn't have signed up to participate because to be honest, I was more concerned with being popular and getting all the boys and girls to like me. That was it. But these girls were here to participate and to learn and to grow because they are the next generation women leaders. I have never been more inspired to be a woman and I can really rest at night knowing that these girls are rising up to the plate with consciousness and media literacy and so much love. My talk was first of all to share with them about my job as a women's empowerment coach. You see, that isn't your typical job right out of college. The directors of the symposium wanted me to share this because you actually can create the job of your dreams. You actually can follow your purpose and follow your bliss and create a business out of it. So I got to be the lucky one to lead that example. And then finally, my talk was inspired by the age group of the women in the group, the age group of the teenager or the maiden that is an archetype, a symbol or a motif. So I shared a very unorthodox belief of mine with the group around what it means to be a woman leader. And I believe an empowered woman leader honors the maiden within. The maiden represents possibility and curiosity, love and celebration. The maiden isn't afraid to ask questions. She raises her hand and participates fully in life because she wants to know why she's here. She doesn't worry about looking stupid. That isn't even a part of her consciousness. She just wants to know. She's also very, very playful. She doesn't have room for dysfunctional relationships or drama. Instead, she's just here to play and to have fun. She's also this gift of celebration. She celebrates her girlfriends. She lifts them up. She never brings them down. And when she needs help, the maiden asks for help. She asks for it. Can you imagine not suppressing your needs and just needing to do everything on your own, but instead asking for help? She also loves, loves her girlfriends. She doesn't think about how they're prettier than her or smarter than her. No, she just loves them. She gets that when she celebrates another, her own power and her own beauty actually expands as a result. There's no shortage or limit to beauty or greatness. And this is where it gets a little unorthodox and I definitely had some of the girls blushing in the room. And the maiden celebrates puberty as a rite of passage. Now, just go ahead and think back to your time of puberty, getting your first period, and what was that like for you? Was it scary? Was it full of anxiety? Did you rush through it? Well, the maiden celebrates this time. It's such a precious process. She loves the way her body is changing and transforming. And she would never dream of damaging this process through starvation or any sort of disordered eating or willing her body to be like someone else's. No, she loves it. And when she looks in the mirror, she finds things she loves about her body. Can you imagine having that perspective of looking in the mirror and finding your perfections instead of your imperfections? The maiden also believes that you, and I'm talking to you, are enough exactly as you are now. You have nothing to prove. I did this talk to these teen girls because I have a feeling they're very worried about the SAT score being perfect or getting into the dream college or getting the romantic partner or I don't know, at least when I was there, when I was that age, 
I was so worried about getting somewhere and I wasn't concerned with just being here and being enough now. And you are enough now. You have nothing to prove. You see, when a woman decides that she's perfect exactly as she is and accepts herself, accepts her imperfections, accepts her insecurities, those insecurities get transformed into gifts, her pain into her purpose, and her joy can just be felt by everyone. Her worthiness attracts joy and happiness and love. You are worthy of everything you want. And I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what you learned about your own maiden in this video and how you'll bring forth your maiden in your daily life because it doesn't matter if you're five years old, 15, 55, 60, your maiden is always within you and chances are she needs your help. So how can you honor her as the empowered woman leader that you are? I'd love to know in the comments below and thank you so much for joining my first video blog. Have a great day.